Good day to you. This is Pastor Joey Pagadora and welcome to Senior Moments to Remember. Thank you for joining us today. It is a pleasure to have you and we're going to have so much fun reading the Word of God, praying together and worshiping Him and doing all the other fun stuff that we normally do here in Senior Moments to Remember. Before we start, we'd like to encourage you. If you have any prayer requests, please type them in the comment section below. Or if you just want to say hi, let us know where you're at. We would love to hear from you. Let's open in prayer. Father, I lift up to you my brother. I lift up to you my sister. Let your hand be upon them. And we pray, God, that today your voice will speak to them. They will receive from you. They will experience you. Thank you so much for your goodness, Lord. Thank you so much for your work. Thank you so much for your covering. You're going to bless them, O oh God, and our time together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's open our hearts and have a wonderful time of worshiping the Lord. Good morning. Come and join me in worshiping our wonderful God. Moments to remember. Moments to remember. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Moments to remember. Moments to remember. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the cause of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age, they will stay fresh and green. To proclaim the Lord is upright, He's my rock and there's no wickedness in Him. Moments to remember, moments to remember. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree, they will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Moments to remember, moments to remember. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the cause of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age, they will stay fresh and green. To proclaim the Lord is upright, He's my rock, and there's no wickedness in Him. Moments to remember, moments to remember, moments to remember, moments to remember, moments to remember. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness. You give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord, you give life. You are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord, is your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise, we pour out our praise, it's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness you give hope you restore every heart that is broken great are you Lord it's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise we pour out our praise 
Cause it's your breath in our lungs So we pour out our praise to you only It's your breath in our lungs So we pour out our praise We pour out our praise It's your breath in our lungs So we pour out our praise to you only It's your breath in our lungs So we pour out our praise We pour out our praise It's your breath in our lungs So we pour out our praise to you only Amen Blessed day to you. This is Pastor Joey Pagadora and this is your wow moment, wow meaning words of wisdom. And we know that wisdom is important to you because you have lived it. You have proven it and now you are enjoying the fruit of wisdom in your life. Our wow moment today will be coming from Proverbs and for several weeks now, every Thursday we've been talking about the fact that wisdom has been made available to everyone, everywhere. And that it brings prudence, it brings good sense, it brings knowledge, it brings understanding. And that it is more valuable than anything that this world can offer. But today, we will be talking about the memory of the righteous. Proverbs chapter 10, verses 6 to 7. Blessings are on the head of the righteous, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. The memory of the righteous is a blessing, but the name of the wicked will rot. Now, isn't that interesting that blessings come upon the righteous, but blessings come upon the head of the righteous not only when they are alive. As the righteous live and as the righteous become a blessing to others, even their memory becomes a blessing. When the righteous go and go to heaven, all the things that they have done, all the good things that they have extended, all the people that have been blessed by their good deeds, it brings a blessing of a memory. And this is something that would be true in your life. When you would have led somebody to the Lord, and because you led somebody to the Lord and their lives have changed, you have just created a very wonderful memory for that person. And every time that person remembers the day that he gets saved, he will remember you because you, led him to the Lord. And because he remembers you, your memory is a blessing. If you have helped and maybe you have extended food or any kind of help to somebody who just got devastated by the recent typhoon, and they will remember that the first meal they had came from you. The first clothes, dry clothes that they wore after the, the, the typhoon and after all of their clothes got soaked in the floodwaters. The first warmth of dry clothes that they experienced were clothes that came from you. One day, when they remember back to how they recovered from the typhoon, they will remember what you did. And your good deeds will be a blessing. Your memory will be a blessing. When you have been good to somebody during this pandemic season, when you have told them about God, when you have prayed for them, when you have believed with them, when you have encouraged them, when you have taken the time to reach out for them, just to point them to God, read the word of God to them, and help them find hope in God. One day when this is all over, and they will tell the story of how they made it through the pandemic, they will recall how you were very patient with them, how you reached out to them, how you pointed them to God. Your memory has become a blessing. So don't get tired of doing good. All of the good deeds that you have done, they will all be a good memory, a blessing to people. Many other scriptures are mentioning about good deeds. Psalm 37 verse 3, Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. Psalm 37 verse 27, Turn away from evil and do good. So shall you dwell forever. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 27, Do not withhold good from those who... Is it due when it is in your power to do it? Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And let us not grow weary in doing good, for in due season we will reap 
if we do not give up. So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. Keep doing good. Keep telling people about the Lord. Keep pointing people to God. And your memory will truly be a blessing. This has been your wow moment. And our prayer for you is that as you continue in wisdom, the days, the weeks, the months, and the years ahead of you will even be more fruitful. God bless you. Hello, wonderful exemplars. This is Pastor Paula, and welcome to another daily surprise. Of course, when you see me, you know it's going to be a pop quiz. Yes, I am going to ask you three questions from our past Sababa lesson, and all you have to do is to type down in the comment section below if you know the answer. So, are you ready? Yeah! For our question number one. Ta-da! The house of Caiaphas in Jerusalem is also called as letter A, the church of St. Peter in Galicantu, B, the dungeon, or C, Caiaphas's nest. The house of Caiaphas in Jerusalem is also called as A, the church of St. Peter in Galicantu, B, the dungeon, or C, Caiaphas's nest. So if you know the answer, just type down in the comment section now. And we will go to question number two. For our question number two, Galicantu is the Latin term for A, cockro, B, dungeon, or C, house. Galicantu in Latin is a term for A, Cockro B, dungeon or C, house. All right, if you know the answer, just type down in the comment section below. And for our third and final question, why is the dungeon in this place very important? Why is the dungeon in this place very important? Is it because letter A, this is where Jesus was imprisoned the night before he was crucified. A. This is the place where Jesus was imprisoned the night before he was crucified. Letter B. Because this is the place where Peter denied Jesus three times. Or letter C. This is just important for Caiaphas. Letter A. This is the place where Jesus was imprisoned before he was crucified. B. This is the place where Peter denied Jesus three times, or letter C, this is just important for Caiaphas. And I am going to give you five seconds to check and to complete your answer in five, four, three, two, and time's up! We are going to check your answers if they are all correct. So let's start from question number one. The house of Caiaphas in Jerusalem is also called, the correct answer is letter A, the church of St. Peter in Galicantu. All right. So the correct answer is letter A. For question number two, Galicantu is the Latin term for, the correct answer is letter A, Cacro. Okay, so this is the place where also Peter denied Jesus three times somewhere in the garden near the house of Caiaphas. And after Peter denied Jesus for three times, the rooster or the uh, cock crows three times as well. All right, and for our last question, why is the dungeon in this place very important? And the correct answer is, Letter A, this is the place where Jesus was imprisoned the night before he was crucified. All right? Did you get all three questions correct? Yay! Awesome! Great job, wonderful exemplars. So we hope you enjoyed our pop quiz today. And I will see you again next week for another round of pop quiz. This is Pastor Paula. I'll see you again next time. Bye! Moments to remember. 
Good morning everyone, this is Pastor Oain once again for our Say Amen segment. I'm gonna share with you Hezekiah in the Old Testament. Hezekiah was the son of Ahaz and he was the 13th king of Judah. He was a famous king and was one of the righteous king who served in the southern kingdom. His name was mentioned in the genealogy of Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew and the scripture says, no king of Judah could be compared to him. 2 Kings 18.1 In the third year of Hosea, son of Elah, king of Israel, Hezekiah, the son of Ahaz, king of Judah, began to reign. 2 Kings 18.5 He trusted in the Lord, the God of Israel, so that there was none like him among all the kings of Judah after him, nor among those who were before him. One day, Hezekiah became very ill. 2 Kings 20, 1-5 In those days, Hezekiah became sick and was at the point of death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, come to him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, Set your house in order, for you shall die. You shall not recover. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord, saying, Now, O Lord, please remember how I have walked before you in faithfulness and with the whole heart, and have done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. And before Isaiah had gone out of the middle court, the word of the Lord came to him. Turn back and say to Hezekiah, the leader of my people, Thus says the Lord, the God of David, your father, I have heard your prayer, I have seen your tears. Behold, I will heal you, and on the third day you shall go up to the house of the Lord. When Hezekiah learned through the prophet Isaiah that he will not recover, he will not recover from his illness, he wept bitterly and prayed to the Lord. In verse 3 of chapter 20, notice the content of his prayer. He reminded God to remember his faithfulness to him and all he had done that was good in God's sight. It is not because God is a forgetful God. God wants us to call upon him. Psalms 34, 17, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. God also considers our faithfulness and all good things we had done to Him. In verse 5, we see God heard His prayer, God had seen His tears in His eyes, and God was willing to heal Him. All of us experience being sick in our life, whether it is a common type like fever or sometimes a severe disease. When a person receives a sad news of his health condition, a natural response is to worry. During this pandemic, people become so worried, especially those who are diagnosed with a deadly disease, with a deadly sickness. And people not only worry, they also lose their self-esteem and start to feel worthless. Just like Hezekiah, you can come to God and cry out. Crying to God in prayer doesn't mean you are hopeless or you don't trust God. Crying out to Him, just like Hezekiah did, means you acknowledge that He is the only source of help and you trust Him to help you. In verse 5 of 2 Kings 18, says, Hezekiah trusted the Lord, the God of Israel. The word trusted here means to depend on, to rely on, and have confidence in God. Psalms 28 2, Listen to my prayer for mercy as I cry out to you for help as I lift my hands toward you, toward your holy sanctuary. Hebrew 4, 16, let us, then con let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Psalm 66, 19, but truly God has listened. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. We have a faithful God. We can depend on Him for help. Cry out to Him. He promised to never disappoint those who put their trust in Him. This is your Say Amen segment for the day. Pagpalain po tayo ng Panginoon. Hello po and welcome once again to our Memory Verse segment. Yes, I know, you can do this. Our Memory Verse for today is found in Psalm 136 verse 1. It says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Amen and amen. amen. Praise God for that wonderful encouragement. 
Well, right now, we will be getting help from one of you. So help me welcome, Sister Edith Magyator! Hello po! Hi! Do you think you can do this po? Yes, I can! Awesome! Psalm 136.1 Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, and His steadfast love endures forever. Wow! That was really good! Thank you so much po! And I know you recited the verse with our guest because you are now ready for round one of our memory verse. Round one, we will remove a few words and you will supply the missing words. Here we go! Awesome! Thank you so much! Well, if you got that one right, please type, got it! At the comment section and while you're typing we will now proceed to round two of our memory verse round two we will remove more words and you will supply the missing words here we go awesome did you get that right again po if you did please type got it at the comment section now everyone knows you got this one right <laughs> okay so why don't we call our guest back to recite the verse with us are you ready here we go psalm 136 1 give thanks to the lord for he is good and his steadfast love endures forever Amen and amen. Thank you so much, Po. And thank you for joining us today in our Memory Verse segment. Until next time, God bless! Moments to remember. Good morning! Welcome to Golden Hour. I'm Pastora Babes. It's time to sing along with me. Come on, let's sing Nothing But The Blood. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that
Till the next time, God bless. Moments to remember. Good day. This is Pastor Latin and welcome once again to our prayer time. Thank you so much for always allowing us to be part of your life every time you share with us your prayer request. It's always a great honor to pray for you and see your prayers being answered. So how do we pray? Fervently and with joy. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. And we are so grateful because we know, God, that whatever we ask for in prayer, as we believe, we will receive it. Father, right now, I commit to you, Sister Edna Prieto. Thank you, God, for the complete healing of Sister Margie from liver disease. Lord, we ask that her liver will be functioning normally in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, that you will strengthen her immune system and that there will be no complication that this sickness will bring to any part of her body in the name of Jesus. I also commit to you, Father God, Sister Aurin Bolima. Thank you, God, for giving her good health and strength all the days of her life that God, she will be delivered from whatever pain and she will be free from any kind of sickness or disease in Jesus' name. And Father, for Sister Ligaya Dinglasan, Lord, she just celebrated her birthday a few days ago and we are so rejoicing with her for another blessed year that you've added to her life. We pray, O oh God, that there will be more birthdays to come for her and that she will live long and satisfying years of life and life worth living, that you will always strengthen her body so that she will continue to serve you in the ministry in Jesus' name. Father, we also pray for Sister Alicia Vargas. Thank you, God, for bringing healing to her grandson, baby Luffy. Lord, touch his eyes and cause him, O oh God, to be healed, O oh God, from this sickness. That operation is not necessary anymore. Father, we also pray that you will bring healing lord god to baby astrid thank you god that you will give wisdom to sister alice as she takes care of this baby thank you lord god that you will always keep him strong oh god and far from any kind of sickness father for sister irene Arguelles, thank you god for healing her from cough from hyperacidity and from the swelling of her right heel. Lord, we pray that you will deliver her from all these sicknesses in Jesus' name and that she will be restored in her strength. She will be recovering, Lord God, from all these diseases. Thank you, Jesus, that by your wounds, Sister Irene has been healed. And thank you also, God, for the healing of her sister from rheumatoid arthritis. Lord, thank you that she will be delivered from this sickness as well in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the answered prayers of your people. Thank you, God, for your faithfulness in their lives. We give you glory and praise that you alone deserve. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us today in our prayer time. And we hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye! Thank you so much for joining us today. We're looking forward to having you join us again tomorrow for another episode of Senior Moments to Remember. If you have any prayer requests, please don't hesitate to type them in the comment section below. We would love to pray for you. Let's close in prayer. Father, thank you so much for your goodness. Thank you so much for the work that you're doing in the life of my brother, in the life of my sister. I pray, God, that you strengthen them continually. And I pray that you fill their hearts with joy. Your joy is their strength. And we pray, Lord, that your word will work mightily inside of them. Your word will grow and bear fruit. Thank you that this is your promise. And thank you that their leaves will always be green. Thank you, God, that they will always be full of energy coming from you, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. And we'll see you tomorrow again for Senior Moments to Remember. Mom.